Hey there guys, so you see the Nord Glassy Zero Roblox and they are a very popular item. Over the years, more than 4 million of these have been sold. Now this is a very common item of course, because 4 million people have bought this. So from 4 million sales to 5 of these being given out, today I'm going to talk about an old Roblox event from 2007, known as Mike's Paintball Tournament. But before I can get into today's story any further, the challenge for today is that if you like free stuff, then smash that like button and maybe don't click that subscribe button, why not? Alright, so you... See, in this tournament, all the craziest stuff happened could have happened. Back then, people were getting free Builders Club, free Robux, their own custom hats for them. And I'm gonna go over all of that, so let's give a little background here. So, let's travel back to April 2007. Chalesky released a new update on Roblox, and here's what they added. Builders Club. Whoa. Some other stuff, but if we, if, but if we look here, we have a paintball weapon. Now, little did we know... Paintball would ultimately become one of the most popular weapons on Roblox in 2007 and 2008 thanks to a game by Mike, Mike D, however you wanna pronounce his name. So Ultimate Paintball was a paintball game that was once the number one all-time most played game on Roblox, created by Mike. It was also the first game to reach 1 million plays with it on Roblox. Its main function was a paintball capture the flag team style game stuff eh? but with two teams red and blue. Paintball guns are the main weapon used but a rocket launcher can also be found on the map. However, in 2009, the number one most popular game spot was taken by Force Desert Attack. You can see the game here is very old, and only people who played Roblox back then really know about this or, or really remember it. But this game was once the most popular game on Roblox. Now, this game was too popular, in fact, there was a Roblox wide tournament of paintball teams. So let's get right into the announcement. July 23rd, 2007, Clockwork announces the paintball tournament, mesh times and rules. So there's a lot of words on this page, so let me just go over some highlights. A paintball match consists of two 15-minute hops with a two-minute break in the middle. The team that gets the most points overall will win the match and progress to the next stage of the tournament. So there's 32 teams of 160 players and the team names were Super Bricks, Blue Snipers, Team Slash, P dot T dot W paintball tournament winners, that's an ambitious name, but anyways, Dark Avengers, Rogues of Robloxia, T-Bone, the uh, Snipe as uh, the R uh, W paintball studs, Crazy Leopards, Nintendo Brawlers, the Pain Brawlers, the Chosen One, Icy Gods, Super Mario Strikers, Black Archer Wolves, Monsters, Royal Chaos, Terminators, Death Raiders, US Marines, uh, blockbusters, The Empire, Soul Reavers, uh, Team Chadley, 007 Heroes, uh, Lava Fighters, Phoners, The Destroyers, Flyboys, Techno Transformers, Super Mario Alpha Mode. Whew. That's a lot of words and a lot of players and 32 teams right here. So just take a look at the list right here. So once people started getting eliminated in this tournament, people would move on to the finals. Here's the graph of that as they continued and once there was four teams left. So during this paintball tournament, a few visors were made. As you can see, we have the visors, the T-Bone visor, the monster visor and the super brick visor. Monsters visor is a limited that's not worth the most amount of robux but it's still being sold for this much robux right now but it's actually very rare only 614 items these were sold the t-bone visor has never got limited and is even rarer than the monsters visor and only 188 people have bought the bone visor making this a phenomenally rare item next up we have the blue sniper's visor this also went limited a long time ago and it isn't worth that much robux considering that over 5000 of these were sold so people seem to like this visor a lot uh, finally my my favorite one, the Super Brick Visor, which was 200 tickets. Over 5,000 of these were sold, but it's very rare because it's from 2007, so almost 17 years. Now you guys are probably wondering, what did the winners get? Well, here you go. The third place team, each person on the team got 500 Robux and a t-shirt. Back then t-shirts were a pretty big deal, there wasn't any shirts or pants yet, so your own custom t-shirt was really cool. Second place team, each player got a thousand robux, which back then was a lot of robux, some paintball guns for your map, and a t-shirt. And finally, the first place team got 2500 robux, paintball guns, a t-shirt, and builders club. So, robux actually gave out free builders club to the winners of this sermon. And by the way, at this time, builders club wasn't even on sale yet, uh, it was just a feature in early beta. So, the fact that robux was willing to give out free builders club back then, it's pretty crazy, you know, because they would never do that today with robux premium. Of course, 
There was also a trophy given to the top 5 winners of the tournament. But let's move ahead to August 17, 2007. August 7 Payable Tournament results, so the Super Mario Strikers won. They each took home 2500 Robux, a year of Builders Club, which is worth around $60. Uh, the second place team was the Rocks of Roblox, and the third place team was the Monstars. And here's a little message from the Roblox staff. The Roblox team wishes to thank Mike for managing the tournament, and Mike told me his contest idea is silently cringe at the amount of work that would be required to organize a cross-continental te team's paintball tournament. We're going to be sending him a little something as a thank you for sticking with it because our first user rank contest was more more or less successful. We are more likely to have another in the future. We are still looking for paintball tournament footage to be posted to YouTube. We are offering 500 Robux to the first three cameramen who post links to their videos either here on in the Roblox forums, so they were pay paying people Roblox to upload videos like that. So Roblox back then was giving it to its users. What happened? I don't know. Do they? They don't even care about their user base now. They just care about the money. And overall, this was a pretty cool thing to happen in the history of Roblox. They would never do stuff like this anymore. Uh, they just became disconnected from the community. I, I I don't know. I guess when Roblox was really small, it was easy to do this. But now with hundreds of millions of users, it would be a big chaotic mess. Uh, so to summarize, we will got free builders club, free robux, and of course, this trophy. But yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.